As the Minister has alluded to, uh, we have been reviewing our guidance uh, concerning the use of masks and face shields. And this is in particular given that uh, tomorrow will mark uh, the milestone where we will move away from our circuit breaker set of restrictions and we anticipate more people coming out into the community uh, and uh, circulating. While we continue to emphasize uh, safe distancing measures uh, to be undertaken, and we believe this still to be very important, uh, we think on the basis of being uh, uh, more cautious, we should also uh, uh, review our use of masks and face shields. And because of our review, we've made a decision that um, we would no longer treat face shields the same as masks. Face shields cannot replace masks in the majority of settings in which uh, we require uh, facial protection uh, to prevent ourselves, if we were asymptomatic but infected, from uh, exposing others uh, to infection. So masks will be uh, the default uh, situation. However, as the Minister has alluded to, in some situations where the wearing of masks may not be practical, face shields may be worn uh, instead. Face shields may continue, however, to augment the use of masks, but the mask wearing would be the default. If a face shield is worn, a face shield has to be uh, uh, worn in such a way that it's worn properly to cover the entire face from the forehead to uh, below the chin, wrapping around the sides of the face. And those uh, who uh, can wear face shields uh, would be children 12 years and below, who have difficulty uh, weaning off ma uh, wearing masks or keeping the, the face mask on for prolonged periods of time. Secondly, uh, people who have health conditions that may result in breathing difficulties or other medical difficulties when the mask is worn for prolonged periods of time would be allowed uh, to wear a face shield instead of the mask. The third setting where uh, we, might, uh, we would exempt people from wearing a mask by default would be uh, for people who are speaking to a group in a classroom or lecture style setting where they are largely remaining uh, in a single spot from which they are speaking unable to, and are able to maintain a safe distance away from other people. We currently exempt uh, persons and individuals doing television broadcasts uh, from having to wear face masks or face shields. And we will continue with this exemption, provided such activities are done in a safe and controlled environment, that is, when safe distancing is observed vis-a-vis uh, -vis other people uh, in the vicinity, and safe management practices are followed throughout the recording or filming process. When face shields uh, are worn on top of a mask, this can provide some additional protection. Uh, for example, when uh, there's a need to protect one's eyes from droplets that may also contain uh, virus particles. And this may have also an added benefit we recognize of preventing masks from getting wet uh, in certain external settings. It may also have uh, the advantage of uh, minimizing uh, people touching their face uh, and therefore resulting in further contamination of their hands uh, and of their face itself. Notwithstanding the, our review of our mask and face shield uh, policy, uh, notwithstanding also the fact that we are, ex uh, we are resuming um, many services uh, from tomorrow onwards, we would still advise the general public to stay at home if they are not having anything necessary to do outdoors, to avoid going out as far as is possible. And for those who need to go out, then the wearing of masks with other preventive measures like health hygiene, hand hygiene, safe distancing, remain important to help reduce their risk of uh, being exposed, of getting COVID-19 infection, and of, sp of spreading uh, COVID-19 infection. We will uh, exercise some flexibility in how we enforce uh, these policies for groups who have th those difficulties wearing a, a face mask or shield. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we recognize that mask wearing is not recommended for young children below the age of two for safety reasons, and these exemptions also continue. We urge everyone, therefore, to play their part, uh, continue to follow these safe distancing rules, wear their masks, observe good personal hygiene, and adhere to these uh, measures as recommended.